much about. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're going to hop into this time spiral draft. And on Wednesday, in two days from now, this will go up on Monday. So in, in two days, there will be the modern cube. So <clears throat> get your get your stipulations ready. Get your get your play points ready. <sighs> the internet is a series of tubes. That's what Al Gore told me. And we all know that he <clears throat> won the presidential election in the recount recently, so. Angeles, colorless, controller visited. Oh, oh. Indimitsu, are you? <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> oh, my throat. <clears throat> okay, let's clear this things up. Clear this things up? Nah. Yeah, it's not good. How much is rent in the internet? I can't, it's, it's hard to say. It depends on what area you go to. Like, just like everything in life, internet has various different, uh, you know, sectors, let's say. I got it. For some reason, these particular aligners, I have not gotten accustomed to. I have not been able to like talk with them in. And it's really disheartening because <clears throat> I'm supposed to wear them. But like, I can't, it's really hard to just talk normally with them in. Whatever. Endomitis, not Endomitsu. I I, read, I I transposed the U and the and the S. Endomitis, are you Jerry? Let me check. I imagine you are, because that's a really random thing to request, right? <clears throat> Let me know if you are. Because we could very well just do that next. That would be totally fine with me. Um, I was actually going to do it either Monday or Tuesday. Um, <laughs> so I've just been like, I, I've actually, I I think I subconsciously kept putting it off because it was like building from scratch. So it was like, oh, it's daunting. I don't know if I can handle this yet. And also I, I got cold. I got a sick. I got a sick. I got, I got sick. I got like the throat thing. Uh, and then I got back from BlizzCon. It was just a whole thing. So I kept I kept putting it off unintentionally. And then you also like told me that it wasn't, you know, no rush, no big deal. So I was like, okay, well, as long as that's okay with you. But yeah, if you're here and uh, you're down for it, I can definitely, we can try to do that after this, after this draft. That'd be cool. I would like to finally get it done for you because you have been waiting a while. And that being the case, do you just take a rift bolt here? Do we just bolt some bros? Uh, I don't think Uncle Isvan is that good. A 1-3 for triple black. I am the one they call Jerry. Hello, Jerry. I think it's just Riffball. Riffball's got to be the best pick here, right? Heart Istvan. Why would you heart Istvan? <clears throat> yeah, if you're going to stick around, I would love to. I would love to get it done later after this. I'm going to take Rifty McBolterson. I can't imagine there's a better card than Lightning Bolt, right? Like, that's just good. I'm not saying take Ispawn. Well, that's good. That's good, because if you uh, did say take Ispawn, I would be like, nah. I'm good. Trustpasser Ilvec, also okay. Flowstone Channeler. Subterranean Shambler, eh. This exile clause is real weird. When it dies, target land becomes a swamp and you exile it. Like, why? Why to do? Uh, has my beard ever been as long as this fawns? No. Uh, by design as well. I make sure that's not a thing that can happen. Undying Rage, plus two, plus two, can't block. And when it goes to graveyard, you can charge your hand. It's actually not bad. What up, stupid Jawa? <clears throat> I always feel so insulting when I say that to you. The blue, blue red deck is pretty good in this deck. I'm gonna take Trespasser. I think Trespasser is one of the stronger cards, especially if you can get the uh, some madness thingamajigs. Target player sacrifices half the permanents they control, rounded down. 
beginning of each player's upkeep, if this is suspended, that player must sacrifice a permanent. If the player does put two time Thank counters you. on it. Interesting. That's fascinating. Tendrils of Corruption, very, very good. Uh, Sudden Shock, <clears throat> very, very good. So I got my first MeUndies order yesterday, and for once I can say that my own butt feels as smooth as a baby's best underwear ever. If you guys are listening, check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. That is a great, that is a, a great review there. <clears throat> smooth as a baby's bottom, best underwear ever. Uh, you get 15% off, and you get free shipping and free returns, so you can't beat that. I mean, you could try. I think it's probably Tendrils, but Sudden Shock is real good. And it doesn't require the swamp commitment that Tendrils does. But it does gain you life. I'm going to take the Tendrils. I like black better than red. Oh, you just get this Sudden Shock, I guess. Wow, this is a lot of red here. Good lord. Ah, Lightning Axe. I'm going to take the Sudden Shock because reasons. Lightning Axe is probably pretty good, but we don't have any... Uh, any madness cards yet, so. I feel like playing red is probably the, the correct play. Oh, shiver me undies. That doesn't work, does it? Alright. Skycutter. It deals two damage to target creature with flying. That creature loses flying until end of turn. Uh, nope. Nope. Psionic Sliver. Deals two damage to any target and three to itself. This is a great combo with the white one that gives plus O plus two. Hmm. Destroy an artifact or a land. Nay. It's probably just Sky Cutter. Oh, Undies versus Tendrils is going to be the next dual deck, I think. It's not going to be a good one, but it's going to exist, so... Hold on, I have to respond to something on the internet. No, something isn't. Someone isn't wrong. Uh, I'm just agreeing with Ben Stark on something. Actually, I'll take another trespasser. <clears throat> oh, grape shot could be good. Yeah, we'll take the grape shot. If grape shot deals three damage, it's pretty good. Especially if we can get a. Uh... Our first pick was a rift bolt. So, seven, seven for six, it attacks each combat. I guess that could be decent. Cold Stoker is also good if we want to play with things like Grape Shot or other Storm cards even. I'll take this guy. Hey, Uncle Isti, Uncle Isti came back. It's your Uncle Isti. Oh, good. I'm not going to take this. Maybe I will. I don't know. 1-3 for 4 is not impressive. I like Snapback and Telekinetic Sliver. I'm going to take the Sliver just in case we end up not being black. Eh. Eh. <clears throat> Cobalt Taskmaster. One, two for two. All right, target player sacrifice half the permanent they control rounded down. I think each player's upkeep. If Curse of the Cabal is suspended, that player might sacrifice permanent. Yeah, maybe that. I don't. I don't think this is good for four mana. Gains flying. Yeah, that guy's good. 
Jeez, these red cards, man. That was two red creatures with flash in the same pack. That's kind of funny. Why does this cost five mana? I guess it makes a dude basically unblockable. You can also discard it and flash it back. That's pretty good. Deadly Grub. Wrathy Trapper is probably the pick here. No good red cards. Jedit O'Janan of Ephrava is a hell of a name. It's 5 5 Forest Walk for 6. When it attacks or blocks, you get a 2 2 with Forest Walk. That's actually very, very good. That's almost tempting enough to ditch the black for, right? It's a cat that makes cats. How could you ever go wrong? Hmm, boy. The question is, the tra is the Trapper better than the other three black cards we have? Considering how light black we are, we're probably not going to be great on tendrils, but Jedido Janin is also triple green. All right, well, let's reserve this, because, yeah, that's fucked. The commitment was too big. Oh, we got Miri the Cursed. That's actually pretty good. 3-2 for lying first strike haste. That is a pretty decent one. Target opponent reveals their hand. You may put a creature from it onto the battlefield under your control. That creature gains haste, then you sacrifice it. That's actually pretty good. Rough Tumble, also very, very good. Man, this is a pack right here. <clears throat> Miri, Rough Tumble, Treacherous Urge, even Sting Scourger is very good. <clears throat> Skirk Shaman's also very good. It has a uh, Intimidate. Man, this is a pack. Considering this kills most of our guys, I'm probably just going to take Miri. Like it would kill this, it would kill both the Trespassers, it would kill the Goblin, it would kill the Trapper. I'm going to take this. And if any of those red cards come back, that'll be pretty good. Uh, Skirk Shaman is great. I will take the Skirk Shaman. Discard a card. Can't be blocked this turn except by red. So this this gives m Intimidate. Okay. Except it gives it just gives you the red version of Intimidate. It doesn't actually give you regular Intimidate. This is such a weird card. Remove, to remove X time counters or add X time counters. That's all it does. It is the most narrow card in existence. It has an effect on this on cards from this specific block and no more. Eh, it depends on how aggressive we are. I might want Marauders or Melancholy. Just keeps the guy tapped forever. But we did. You gotta you gotta tap the land. You gotta you gotta keep the mana tapped. Detritivore, is it non-basic lands? Oh, non-basic lands, that's rough. It's power and toughness are equal to the number of non-basic lands in your opponent's graveyards, so that's not ideal for a limited format, unfortunately. Uh, Aether Membrane, 05, whenever it blocks a creature, return it to its owner's hand of combat. Defender and Reach, that's actually... I mean, this holds down a bunch of things. I don't think we're in the market to play. We can actually play this and then just play a bunch of Trespasser Elvex. I could take the Brain Gorgers, though, because you do have a couple outlets for Madness. It's probably Brain Gorgers. <clears throat> Ooh, I do like a Blight Speaker once we have uh, at least one Rebel already, so. And Blight Speaker was a great way to just deal incremental damage. Just deal, tap it, deal a point. <clears throat> Blood Knight. The problem is you're never going to be able to... Well, yeah you, yeah, you could. You still could. I think Blood Knight's probably the pick here. Brute Force is also good. Plus three, plus three is just a great trick. Which is nice to have. Also goes well with the Grape Shot. I'm going to take the Blood Knight, though. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So this should be the last pick before. <sighs> Don't care about six drops. Probably just want the Midnight Charm for the versatility. Uh, all right. So the next pack is the one that had all the good cards in it. Let's see what that yields. 3-1 for 3. If it dies with no time counters, it gets a 6-1 with Shroud. It becomes a deadly insect. Alright, let's see what comes back here. Good times. <clears throat> oh, I don't know why this Iron Claw Buzzard is all the way over here. Stay in your lane, Iron Claw Buzzard. I'm going to take the grub out for now. I'm not 100% on that guy. Everything else seems good. This deck seems like it has the makings of a decent uh, red-black deck. Oh, the Treacherous Urge and the Sting Scourger came back. Okay. I mean, for five... My only, my only issue with this card is it's five mana, right? So if they have nothing big in their hand on turn five, Sting Scourger seems pretty good. I'll take a Vampiric Link. I mean, we still got one more pack left. We're going to open a Tarmogoyf, and it's going to be a Phantom Draft, and we're going to be real sad. Are you guys ready for that? So it's very clearly that it's very clear that red is open. Um, take the Ridge Cusite, whatever the hell that is. Oh, a Simeon Spirit Guide. Oh, another Ridge Cusite. We can have the Ridge Cusite dot deck over here, with your creepy eyes. Look with your creepy eyes. Look with your Cusite eyes. Uh, Grave Scrabbler is probably the pick. Grave Digger is a great card in uh, regular, regular limited. So. Having a Grave Scrabbler that we can discard to one of our Trespasser Ilvex is pretty nice. I don't think we have any other discard outlets, though, do we? I mean, we do in the sideboard, for sure. Fatal Attraction? Oh, yeah, right, right, right. It does kill a 4-drop after a turn. Hypocrisite's not even that terrible. You love the... You love time... Why are you yelling? What are you yelling for, you weirdo? God, what a weirdo. I wonder if the Grape Scrabbler comes back. I wonder... Yeah, I'm going to take the Grape... We have, I feel like we have a bunch of removal is, is really my... And we can still get things like Icarus Slick, which is super nice. Um, like as far as removal goes, we have tendrils, we have melancholy, rift bolt, sting scourger kind of removal, grape shot kind of removal, trapper, sudden shock. Yeah, now we have Icarus Slick. Icarus Slick is gas. I'm not yelling. I just have a condition that keeps me from controlling the volume of my. Oh wow, that's a that's a hell of an Austin Powers throw back there.
fixing a hole where the rain gets in it stops my mind from wandering ghost fire I actually like a Fomori Nomad here because a 4 4 is just a big dude Yeah, we're just taking the ghost fire. That's a pretty easy pick. Oh, another ghost fire. Oh, bold warrior. I, we have opened two horizon canopy. No, I guess we didn't open this one. So, to be fair, we wouldn't have gotten this one because it wouldn't have been passed to us. Neither would be passed to us. It's either intimidate or ghost fire here. I'm not sure which. We might just want the top end guy. Or we might just want the ghost fire. <laughs> I'm going to take the other ghost fire. It's really hard to turn down a ghost fire. Especially because our deck seems kind of burny. Like we have this. We have uh, Kelden Marauders. Gaithan Raiders is pretty good. Sliver Legion would have been sick for our Sliver deck the other day. Man... Oh, I like Deep Cavern Imp for us, though. Both of these are good discard outlets. I think I'd... Oh, boy. This is actually tough. I don't know what to do. I knew you were going to say that. I knew someone was going to make the Bernie reference. I'm proud of you for doing so. I am proud of you. I'm going to take this guy. It's a floaty boy. And that's... Oh, Fatal Attraction. That's pretty good. Man. Destroy target creature that was dealt damage this turn. That's interesting. An enchantment that taps is really interesting. Yeah, we'll take Fatal Attraction. Just going to take removal for days here. Hench Fiend of Yukor actually is pretty interesting in our deck because we can actually cast it and do the thing. Riddle of Lightning is nice, but our deck has a pretty low curve, so it's basically 5 damage. 5 mana for 2 or 3 damage most of the time. I'm going to take the Hench Fiend. Another hench fiend. Hench fiends for days. Another fatal attraction. All right, seems good. I'm glad we took the uh, the grave scrabbler. Pretty sure we're cutting a bunch of these cards because we have 27, and that's how magic works. Probably gonna cut the shambler. I don't think that guy's great without uh, a reason. I don't think we want tendrils here. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna have enough swamps to really justify it and also we have a ton of removal that's not um this card's actually not terrible it's gonna be a 2-2 two -two for 2 with flanking most of the time I would imagine but it's a lot to work for like I don't want to have to work that hard for my 2-2 two -two with flanking oh the Fomori Nomad came back So we have to make two cuts, and I might play the Nomad. I'll take Melancholy out. I don't want to have the mana restriction for that guy. And we might actually be a 16 land deck, maybe? And the Bold Weir Intimidator came back, too. That's pretty cool. I was tempted to cut Rager and just put in, in Nomad. Aussie Stream, what are your top five, top three favorite Adrian Lin films? Reliance is only no jokes. Uh, Mike is actually not joining. His back has been killing him recently. He's actually had to take like three days off work because he can barely walk. Um, I don't actually know who Adrian Lin is. I feel bad to have to say that, but Honesty Stream, honest, Honesty Stream is Honesty Stream. Let me look up Adrian Lin and see if I would recognize any of their work. Oh, 
Oh, I oh wow. Okay, so I'm am familiar with Adrian Lin. I just didn't know them by name. Uh, we just took something out that we did not want to take out. Rathy Trapu. Um, <laughs> so oddly enough. Yeah, director of Flashdance, Indecent Proposal, Unfaithful, Fatal Attraction. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Also, saying top three is funny because, like, I think Adrian Lynn probably has maybe top five movies, right? So I'd be like, what's na name half of uh, the, the most well known Adrian Lynn films? I tend to just bring this guy in, cut this guy. I mean, plus four, plus O oh is pretty good. However, we might not need it. <clears throat> I think we're just going to play it like this and add... Uh, let's go seven, seven, nine. Let's see how this works. I don't know how it will work, but we'll see. We only have one double black card in the form of Miri the Cursed. So... Uh, I do, actually... It's Robocop, right? Yeah. I mean, top three Paul Verhoeven films are probably Robocop, Total Recall, and... God, I don't know what else he did. Um, hold on. Not a ton of stuff I'm familiar with, unfortunately. I might even I would just probably like default to uh, Starship Troopers, but I wouldn't say that's probably because my top three. I'm probably saying it's oh um, <laughs> I did not know Paul Verhoeven did uh, Hollow Man. That's pretty funny. I'm gonna keep this hand because we have all the things: two drop, three drop. Oh, we still play Grape Shot. Get out of here. Oh, their two three blocks are two one forever. So next time we can go Cold Stoker into Grape Shot. Deals two damage. Why do people want to play 40 card decks? Why not play 50 if you had enough cards? Uh legit question, legit answer is you want to maximize the, the number of uh chances you have, the percentage you have to hit your best cards. In a 50 card deck. Uh, there's no way you have five other cards or six other cards because you're going to add three or four lands, presumably. There's no way you have six cards that are better than anything in your deck. You just It doesn't happen. Uh, by playing the smallest number of cards, you maximize your odds to draw the best cards in your deck when you need them. Or, you know, anytime, really, because they're the best cards in your deck. Uh, the reason I add a 41st card, and a lot of times people say, you know, you cut the best, cut the, cut the worst card... Uh, there is a lot of times in Limited where you don't have a worst card. Like, sometimes you want a Goblin Skycutter to kill a Flyer. Sometimes you want a Trespasser to get through. Neither of these is the worst card at a different point in time. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Um, however, the case is, you're not going to have an extra four or five cards um, that you're going to need to really add to the deck. What did they, did they suspend, like, Restore Balance or something? Ivory Giant, that's a good dude. So, I mean, for me, for me, I'll usually have one, maybe two extra cards that I really want to find a slot for. And I don't think I ever go over 41. But uh, when you get closer to 50, you're just really diluting your deck. Like, there's no five cards in my sideboard, six cards in my sideboard that I really need to put in the deck. Um, that are going to make it any better than this.
I want a coal stoker. Actually, we just coal stoker. And we'll ghost fire this guy. And then we get to have three three creatures on board to their no creatures, and we have three cards to their four cards. That seems good. Six, they're taking eight here and going to seven. That's pretty good for us, I guess. This guy just taps all the non-white creatures, right? Yeah, that's fine. My non-white creatures aren't really staying home anyway here. Well, I hope you don't have anything that just, like, destroys the board. What's TSP? Easy as one, two, three, A, B, C, T, S, P, M, M, U, N, O, M, Oh boy, that's not good. Easy as one, two, three, A, B, C, T, S, P, M, U, that's uh that's a Beach Boys song in case you guys didn't know. I don't know how, how musically inclined you guys are. And we win that game. That was a pretty a, that was a thing. That was a pretty thing. I liked your jacket the other day. Does it have uplift right? Yeah, where did you see my jacket? Where was I wearing my jacket? I rarely wear my jacket on stream. That's weird. Where did you see me? Oh, the hoodie I had on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just a that's a Brotherhood of Steel hoodie from Bethesda. It does have epaulet straps on there. I saw it from outside your bedroom window. Yeah, surprisingly, a lot of my jackets have epaulets on them. I'm a big epaulet fan for some reason. Huh. Who knows? I don't really have an issue with any of the cards in our deck right now. I think I'm going to submit. Keep. A, B, C. Easy as I will keep. I like drawing a two drop when our hand is three drop, four drop, four drop. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, a trespasser? And we got a brain gorger in hand? What a time to be alive. Are you going to spell burst this guy? Come on. Delay? Well, he'll be back again. He'll be back one day. ABC. Now I have ABC easy. Now I have the Michael Jackson song in my head. Jackson 5 song, I guess. It wasn't a Michael Jackson song. It also wasn't 
a Beach Boys song, as I previously led you to believe. I apologize for the for the mislesion. I'm gonna play Trespasser here. Are we just trading? I bet we're trading. My Drakeling for your Trespasser. You got it. I will not pay two. Oh, I do like delay with any card that uh, processes things. I don't want to buy anything processed or sold. I don't want to sell anything bought or processed. And I don't want to sell anything. Or I don't want to process anything bought or sold. I, I always forget that quote. That's from Say Anything. It's a little John Cusack film from the 80s. Maybe you've heard of it. Maybe you haven't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. I'm not your movie dad. I wish this guy had first strike. Knight of Cerise Circe. Oh, oh, that's the thing, I guess. So this is a flying creature, so I can just kill it when it comes into play? That's fascinating. I'm fascinated. Um, what are the 80s? That's a good question. Oh, TSP is Time Spiral Draft. Chris, you should definitely know this. You work in, you literally work in like the most magic cards centric job I've ever seen. That's crazy. Oh, old Scrabby. Old Scrabble Abba Ding Dong, as they say. I guess it's just hench fiend here. I'm actually gonna kill. Is this is this a fathom seer? You think a fathom seer? You think? I don't know. Well, let's see if they want to draw two cards here. I don't want to throw this guy out because then they're just gonna block with either of these dudes. Oh, that was a good one to hit. Oh, the old thrift savings plan. The government employee retirement. Is that a real thing? I didn't know that was a real thing. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Oh, my God. I had someone uh, who was looking for something for me. They ended up finding it, but I already got it. It was the Moon Knight statue that I picked up. And um, he's like, hey, I found a Moon Knight statue for you. And I was like, oh, this is awkward. I already got it. And he's like, oh, no worries then. I'm like, all right, cool. I was hoping they weren't stuck with it. So this guy dies next turn, and this guy comes into play next turn. They have two cards. Why do we feel like we're always ahead? This is very weird for a red deck. Oh, man. I had no idea that the TSP was a real thing. Oh, they just... What'd they do? They suspended a Riffling Cloud Skate? Why don't they just cast these cards? I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna come at you and deal you a bunch of damage.
I guess we should wait till it blocks, right? In case they want to like snap back. Uh, all right, we'll go to blocks. Oh, see, they're gonna do some nonsense here, and we're gonna feel bad about things. Well, I'm gonna have a snap. Oh, see, I knew it. Should have kept the red up too, because then we can float this dude. Oh, they're gonna bounce their dude. Oh, this is so stupid. It's either it's real or I'm being scammed. <laughs> That's quite the scam, buddy. That is the long con for sure. Oh, they're doing this so we can't kill this thing. Oh, that's clever. Well, that's good, because it was literally my... That's our worst creature, so... I'm okay with it. Also, it's very funny that a savings plan has the word thrift in it. It's like, you know, it's your it's for your future, but let's be frugal about it. Let's not go crazy. This is an aggressive attack here. I guess they're playing their moon their moon bear. Yeah, this guy. This is whenever it enters the battlefield or a time counter is removed. Oh, whenever it enters or leaves. So you only gain four. Yeah, we'll echo this guy. Yes. Ghostfire. Oh, for more Nomad, I'm one man away from playing for that playing that guy. And I can't play any of these other cards in my hand. Biscuits. I really don't want to attack this, so I'm not going to. They have one they have no cards in hand? Okay. Oh boy. Ah, oh, got that dry face. Yep, no blocks. I will take four. And. Nothing, huh? Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can almost, we can almost kill you, which is pretty comical. Alright, I'll go to blocks. See if you draw another white main lion. They're just going to bounce the Fomori Nomad, aren't they? Huh. I guess that's fine. We can also just 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We can just deal them 10. No, this is 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can put them to 3. Otherwise, they just bounce this guy. Four. Yeah, I'd rather just keep this guy on board, I guess. What up, Kerwit? Oh, you drew a counter spell. How nice. And I drew a creature with madness so that I couldn't use. If I played this pre combat, actually, it would have been great because then I would have known to actually cast one of the. Oh, man. What an abundance of what's the opposite of riches pores nope oh that's we're probably dead here the eight life they've gained from this card is probably too much for us they'd be at two right now we could have actually killed them last turn with this guy Oh, they bounced their own Avon Rift Watcher. Oh boy. Good times. Did I say eight life? I meant ten life. Going on twelve. Well, 
Let's just go to the next game. We're dead on board here. So I guess they have to block here. So we would have drawn... Yep, mountain. All right. This guy's not going to get the job done. Oh, biscuits. A bunch of fatal attraction seems great here because we can just kill all their two-mana flyers once we got the grape shot. Not two-mana power. Two, two, two toughness flyers is the word we're looking for here. What's up, ZG? I've actually been enjoying Time Spiral, surprisingly. More than I uh, more than I thought I would. Easy as one, two, three, and let's go. Let's play first. Oh, this hand is hot trash. Okay. Capable. Especially with Deep Cavern in from this guy. All right. Yeah, see if they won't just turn their guys sideways. I mean, it's not worth my time to do that. I mean, if this was a Pro Tour or a GP, I would definitely do that. But if, you know, if we're just playing here on a Time Spiral draft on a stream, I'm not going to, like, waste everyone's time and assume they don't know how to turn their creatures sideways. Oh, all right. It's a start. I will choose you. Always yield to that guy. I would insta scoop to a mana tithe on turn two. Well, that is unfortunate that uh, we couldn't hit a third land with two very cool three drops in our hand. We could also stack it in such a way next turn where if we played this guy, uh, this guy would die. We could discard the Grave Scrabbler after this guy goes to the graveyard and then get it back, and that would have been pretty aggressive. I mean, of course, they could also delay it but that doesn't really doesn't really change the awesomeness of the plan so I'm going to hold this sudden shock for the 2-2 two -two. and just hope they don't have white lion I guess white main lion oh that's annoying, but we do have sudden. We do. If we hit a land, we can rift bolt this thing. We did not. <sighs> welcome to welcome to a my stream where uh, we don't get to actually draw the lands. Uh, out of uh, out of at least one deciding game, so par for the course, uh, unfortunately. At least they can't white main line on this guy, so that's good. I bet they're trying to right now, and they can't figure out why they're not able to white main line. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny because, like, they can't. You can't do anything here. Like, just let it happen.
Yeah, I guess not being able to get mana tithe is an upside here, right? Like if you don't play spells, can't get can't get mana tithe if you don't play spells. Did they try to play that in response? Because that would have been funny if they're like, why can't I play this? Oh, what up, Spazio? Don't want to play against you on MT. I mean, maybe sometime, yeah. I don't think I have any decks, though. Like, I haven't put, put anything together on MTG right now. Is almost is there like a transparency here? That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, for mostly mostly I've just been doing drafts on arena. So it's four cards to four cards. I had a dream about this stupid dream. Wow, that's awesome. <coughs> I hope it was a good one. Was I there? And you were there? And you were there? That's from the Wizard of Oz, in case you guys didn't know. Uh oh, Sammy, have you been drinking, buddy? Have you? Where are my lands at? I don't understand. Why do I miss three land drops here? Frank is lecturing us about how to live a full life, and somehow I was getting wrecked in the chat because I was arguing. Why would you argue about that? Yep, never don't have it. Gain casual eight life per game. Someone send me a new computer so I can give Frank money faster. I would, uh, if anyone wants to donate Sammy a new computer so he can donate to me, I think that's a, uh, a, a noble goal, a noble endeavor. So you guys should really, you should really do that. That's my suggestion. I'll play my Rift Watcher again. Sure. Hey, BC. Are you sure that was a dream? Oh man. I will not I will choose not to sacrifice. I imagine they sacrifice this white man lion. Trading a four 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 two for a two two is pretty good. And it leaves all your relevant guys on the board still, so Whereas otherwise, the only reasonable thing is that, oh, they just let it resolve. They're probably just going to play another Rift, Rift Wing Cloudscape from their hand, so. Pretty sure we can't win this game, but, uh, you know, keep faith alive, I guess, and all that. I got excited when I saw TSP on your headline. How do you feel now? Do you still feel the same? Or has something changed? Like, and then you're like, but then I realized it was this. And I'm like, oh no, it's not the same anymore. I thought you were going to give financial advice for thrift savings plans. Wow. Well then. This flash lion is a weirdo. I agree with you. I agree with you. Let's change. I don't think I really need to change anything. We just missed land drops there.
What happened? T Jesse, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. play first <clears throat> I will keep this hand this seems like a good one we don't really need black yet so I'm okay with it we're also in the losers bracket like like the losers we are so what could possibly go wrong oh found it what's going on here what's happening right now what did I miss Oh, the green white Theros God. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Raisins. It's nature's can't. That's accurate. That is a factual statement. You think they block here? I don't think so, right? Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. I'm gonna use this because it can't go face, so. Thank you. Pull out our man. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. It didn't say resub, but I know that's not a first time. Football's been bad today and hardly worth watching. I'll never be like football. Don't be like football. That's the lesson to learn here. Let's get this damage in where we can. This is six damage, they go seven. And then we got this rift bolt. What? You got some kind of shenanigans? They always have shenanigans. I don't even know what the shenanigans would be. Okay. That's a twofer. That's a that's a good twofer too. That's a wrathy trapper. A Wrathy Trapper Keeper. Oh, and you're just going to kill that guy. I see. Well then. Ever played Slay the Spire? I, I feel like people ask me this every week. I have not played Slay so the Spire yet, but I do have it on my... When a non-black creature enters the battlefield, so that's great. Because the only creature I have is a black creature. Joke's on you, buddy.
get on get on buzz on keep on I got nothing here I was I was trying to make a joke about buzzing I have not paid well I wasn't I wasn't like criticizing you like how dare you ask me I get asked this all the time no I'm just saying it's funny that people always are always like hey have you played Split this wire I think you'd like this hey you should try Split this wire and um it's pretty consistent so that's the reason I really mention it Oh, boy. Moy? Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Well, we have a lot of damage here. Let's get rid of this. Have I tried this part? I think I'd like it. Oh, yeah, probably. I'd probably like it. That'll do, pig. Yeah, that's my that's what I mean. Like people are always asking me, so like <clears throat> That's a that was a barbaric translation from Dutch. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, we'll keep this hand as well. I got a bottle of Diamond Dew and it's not partially invisible. You have lied to me through stream. This was not my intent, though. I think you need special glasses for it to be partially invisible. I don't think it actually happens naturally. Uh, I don't have to wear them, though, because uh, the camera lens actually... It translates it for me when it goes through. This always takes forever for me. If you want to try one of my Soul Tide decks this week, that would be awesome. Uh, Sammy, let me know which one you want me to use. Which, which one you want me to play. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. And let me know which one you're leaning towards. I have uh, tickets to see the Backstreet Boys, and I am hyped for it. That's pretty awesome. I would also be hyped for that. Everybody, yeah. God, do we just hope they don't have a, a madness card here? I don't know what to do. I think we just play Buzz, Buzzies, Buzzy Beetles. I don't think any of these cards are particularly great here. Um, oh, good. They just discarded a swamp. That's great. So now it's just a T2 that costs you a card. I'm okay with this. Oh, man. That guy? That guy? This is great news. I'm actually just going to... Oh, this guy can't block Cruiser Power 2 or Greater, so he can't do anything right now. Um, well, Biscuits... Let's suspend you, play you, and give this guy Floaterino. This guy holds down pretty much everything here, so. It's like choosing between my children. I can't. Sam, I didn't know you had children, buddy. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, geez. We have a good time. Oh, wow. This is aggressive. So it's like seven. We'll go to five. Just 
Turn a black creature from your graveyard to your hand. Sure. Yep, this guy gets another time counter. Pretty sure we're just going to kill the Deep Cavern Imp. We can block this guy for the next turn, and then he might just die on his own. That was nice. Although we could have killed the guy with that, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. So this dude dies next turn if they don't have a creature. Don't have a creature, I guess. This guy dies anyway, though, so... Yeah, alright. Well, that worked out well. Ooh, one, two, three. Ghost fire your face. Shoot, shoot. Well, I'm not going to attack here, but we'll just let you naturally run down the clock on this soul eater, go soul tether golem. He tethers to the souls. He does not eat them. And now it's going to be another pit keeper, blight speaker. Well, that is a clock, isn't it? Um, I'm just going to play for more, you know, mad here. Reason being, if we play this guy, then we pay for the echo next turn. We can't actually get from where no man now. So this is this is actually two creatures over two turns, whereas the other way it's not. I'm pretty sure we're going to win this game. Okay, going to go grocery shopping. You'll be in my ear. <laughs> Do I get to go grocery shopping with you? That's pretty cool. Hey, Sammy, pick out this. Uh, pick out those black beans. Uh, pick out these tomatoes. All right. So our deck seems okay. Not. Not super. Oh, this hand seems good. If we can hit a red, we're good. If not, we still got a blight speaker, so. <clears throat> Well, what did you suspend in a rant ephemeron? That is a good creature. I'm just going to pass here. How many peppers does it take to change a light bulb? Ooh, that's a good question. That is a good question. Uh, yikes. It depends on what kind of peppers, I think. Oh, look at this little cutie. I don't have an efficient way to deal with their Arant Ephemeron yet. I 
Oh, the old knife flicker imp, a classic. Oh god, grape shot would be amazing here. Kaping kaping. Um well I guess we're sudden shocking you. Actually we do a search for a library from the battlefield. Oh, that's pretty good. I kind of just want to get Wrathy Trapper out of the deck so we can deal with this guy, but I guess we don't have to do that now, do we? Oh, do we? I don't know. Ooh, magic's hard. <sighs> yeah, I'd rather not have three unblockable creatures on the battlefield, so. Wow. None of their peppers, you dingus. That's, well, that's just rude. I do like that you wasted your turn playing the upkeep on this guy. I'm not saying it's terrible, but I, I do like that it happened. I feel like my voice isn't, uh, it's not, it doesn't sound as sick now. It just has like a nice gravelly sound like, hey guys, I just got finished smoking for 45 years of my life. So uh, what are you going to, what do you think of that? So next time we can actually flick this. Six mana is really the key, because we get to activate this and play this, or we could cycle this and madness it, too. So, that's kind of where you want to be. I'm going to actually just go get a Wrathy Trapper, though. <laughs> How many Freudians does it take to change a light bulb? Uh, let's talk about your mother. I like that gravelly. Hey, guys, welcome to uh, Magic the Gathering here. Okay, that was pretty good. Ladder, I mean ladder. That was that's hilarious, actually. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to the internet. I'll be your host, Wolfman Jack. Oh, oh! This deep cavern imp is a rebel? Get the hell out of town. What kind of rebel is that, that weirdo? Oh, I like that. All right. Back streets, back, all right. I guess we could also discard a card to Icarus Slick, but I'd rather just cycle this and get the value out of it. problem is I really want to get rid of this guy now. Oh, we can search up Deep Cavern Imp, I guess. That's just who he is now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a phase. Uh, there's a lot of options here. This is what I like about this format. Like, There's so many things we can do here. Every card has an ability. Every card in our hand has multiple modes. Well, I guess this guy doesn't, but. This is my daughter in Seattle this weekend, and she's mostly vegetarian. Any restaurant suggestions? Yes. Um, I'm not sure how close it is to you. Uh, this restaurant is amazing. 
I'm gonna try to link it to you if I can find it. It's called Blossom. It's called it's a vegetarian restaurant. It's really good. Here, I'll yelp it to you guys. Yeah, this place is fantastic. All right, so we, we pay four. We get the Deep Cavern Imp. We attack. They could block. I think that's actually fine because we can also play Blood Knight. It means we take a hit from this guy. If, if they could, if they bring this guy out and they pump this guy, that we're taking four, five, six, seven, eight, which is a lot. This is so hard. Thief Cavernet goes in. They trade if they want to. I guess that's fine. If they can go block here. They'll take five. It's pretty aggressive. Well, this guy's not really licking a knife, though, unfortunately. Similar, but different. Oh, interesting. All right, that's good. That's fine, because I didn't want to have to discard a card anyway, so we still get to put a guy on the board. We'll take six now, which is significantly better than eight, because it's a two-turn clock instead of one-turn clock. And this is a free card. We basically just got it off of this, so everything's okay. And now I want to bounce this guy. Wow, look at all these creatures. I can just tap this guy to kill it. Yeah, this turn's actually going to be pretty okay. So we can go like this. Bounce this dude. Because you're just that big. Tap this dude. Play this dude. And I'm actually just willing to trade here. We have enough guys on board where I'm not like too concerned with it, so. Plus we have Icker Slick, uh, Wrathy Trapper, and Sky Cutter. All, all of our things are pretty good. All, our, all of our things do things. I don't think there's anything super peppery in this draft. And we win the game. All right. Our deck is spicy. Yeah, I'm just going to submit like this. And all of our games, I think tendrils would have been like a two or three damage spell, whereas that game would probably have been four. But, you know, I think that's the, uh, the outlier.
Back streets, back. All right. I blame you guys for getting this backstreet voice stuck in my head. I mean, not really. Like, I don't. I don't think it's bad, but I do blame you for it. It's still your fault. Book Devourer does actually feel very time spiral. Like, this hand is great if we could hit all the lands off the top. However, that being the case, oh boy. I want to risk it for the biscuit. I don't want to go to five here. We're also on the draw. Yikes. Two lands in this in this hand is great, though. All right, there's one of them. NSYNC is better? Maybe. I mean, that's fine. It's not a contest. I'm just saying one stuck in my head. Come on. All right, well, we still have time. Land, land, and then this hand can't actually lose. It's presumptuous, I know, but... Boy. Oh, God. Yeah, and we could bounce this. We could play this to bounce this guy. Um, but I'd rather save it for the Arant Ephemeron because we don't really have a way to deal with that efficiently, unfortunately. <laughs> Jesus. Andy, what's going on, buddy? Shapoopy. Shapoopy. That's who can. Uh, Ghostfire is a colorless spell. Ghostfire is colorless. Uh, if you end your turn and discard, you can pay madness. Indeed. I'm going to play Trespasser here. Because if we get Cole Starker, we can still play Iron Claw Buzzards off of it. God, Arant Ephemeron is so good. I don't think I've seen uh, an Arant Ephemeron yet in our three drafts. I guess that's not a tremendous amount. It's only three packs of Time Spiral, but the card is still very, very strong. I just, I just, why is it colorless? Because it's, it's the, it's only those gifted with the Eye of Ugin, the Spirit Dragon, can see his fiery breath. It's Ugin's breath, so it's colorless, bro. Broski. Brocephus. Brewski. We're going to play this guy in Ghostfire, this idiot. Next turn, we'll play Sting Scourger into Scrabbler. Maybe. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Wow, that's like the rudest thing you could possibly do. I thought we was friends. I thought we was friends. Yep. Here he comes. <clears throat> Any land would be great here because then we can play two two cards instead of one, which is really what you, you want to be doing. Yep, I don't know what that is, but I'm afraid of it. Land? No, of course it's not a land. A land would be great because then we could actually play and keep up. However, uh, let's not be ridiculous.
Why can we see the card then? Major hole in your theory. Yeah, I guess that's true. Dang it. Biscuits. Yep, that's, wow, that's the most amazing card you could have flipped when I play a 3-2 rare. <laughs> okay, seems good. Uh, All right, um, I like being on the play here. I'm going to bring in the other Fatal Attraction. We'll take out, Grape Shot's good here, actually. Kills, kills things that we care about. I'll keep this hand. What was the card they flipped? It was Shaper Parasite. This stream is hard to follow. I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't know you weren't playing Time Spiral before, buddy. Wow, I remember Spark Notes. Holy smokes. What a throwback. What a throwback to college. Heliopate, have a good night, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. God, man, we're in Femeron every game. What are the odds they have more than one? Ooh, that was a good hit. That's what we want to see. I want more of this set. I want more uh, time spiral sets because this set's great. Also, if we can hit one land for Amiria, this would be fantastic. Come on, deck. I know you like to to troll me with the lands, but we already did that. We did that last. We did that last round. We did that. Uh... Get your Coral Trickster. Dang it. One time, one time. Yeah, we did it. I also like Sting Scourger and a Grape Shot. That's a good combo. What place was Time Spiral blockwise? What does that mean? Like what year? That I don't know. It was early. It was a while ago. Oh, Time Spiral was the first set in the block. Oh, look at that little guy. Oh, isn't that cute? So we can kill this guy and bounce this guy, which I think is fine. But they actually have to pay the mana for this guy next turn, so they can't actually replay this guy. That's totally fine.
How you feeling? All right. Better? Better or worse? My back actually feels a little bit better today. Mike's back has been killing him these past few days. I told him it's because he's a lazy piece of shit, but he didn't listen. I listened. Yeah, I listened. I just didn't do anything about it. That's, that's, yeah, that's actually, that's probably, you know what? That's, that's something. That is something. Oh, we just win the game. All right, that'll do. 2-1 again with our time spiral uh, shenanigans. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. And I don't work up here. I'm not going to go anywhere. Am I going to say? I, I'm going to stop now. Check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Links are in the description below. You can also check me out on MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You get 15% off, free returns, free shipping. And as you as you saw by the uh, earlier comments in chat, they are pretty comfortable. Viewers will attest to that. And uh, you get to support the stream. So really appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.